Hello and welcome to another edition of Luminar Coffee Break. I'm your host, Vanelli. Now, our topic today is how to add a watermark or a signature to your photos. All right, well, let's jump right in. So here I have a um, photo of this beautiful butterfly that I just took over the weekend. And what I want to do is add my signature on the bottom right here in the corner right where my face is. So let me hide myself. Now I'm gonna click on the edit tab. From the edit tab, we'll come over here to local masking. Now what I need to do is add a texture on top of this image. So the texture we're gonna add is, you guessed it, my signature. So let's come over here and what we're gonna do is find where we stored our signature. Now, I mentioned this many a times. If photography is the name of your folder where you store all your images in, put an assets folder inside there. Now from here, put everything you need, signatures, templates, um, LUTs, textures, whatever, in that folder. So here's my signature. Now, the easiest way to do this is with a PNG file, because a PNG file is gonna have it's going to be transparent, so there's no additional steps. So let's start with a PNG file, then I'll show you how to add a JPEG. So with the PNG, let's put uh, white on black, or black on white. Let me hide myself. And here it comes in. Hello, Russell. Yes, it's great to be back. All right. Now... It's in and it's huge. So we're gonna to need to resize it. Now I, I do want to increase the opacity just so I can see it. And then click on place texture. I'm gonna move it down to place. Now you should notice something unique and I'll show you. Let's see if you can catch this. I'm gonna grab it. And there's gonna be a lot of scallops. I know I made that signature file really large. Now notice my signature is coming in rotated. Quickly in the chat, um, tell me why you think it's rotated. So why is my signature coming in rotated? It'll take a couple more seconds. Notice it's rotated here. Russ, you of all people should know this answer. Good, it's almost there. All right, good. One more. And now I'll rotate, good. So as you can see, I mean, that was a rather large signature, and now I'm gonna rotate it to match the orientation. And bring it just a little more, right about there, good. And I'll just move it over into place. And here I am. Ask yourself, what size do you want to be? Well, that's up to you. Typically, I joke and say the size of your should be the size of your ego. A big ego, big watermark. Little ego, little watermark. But that, again, is entirely up to you. I'm going to put it right about here. I put it. Now that was easy, yes. Now keep in mind, because I had that so large, I had to scale it down. And since you didn't answer the question, no pressure, Rush. <laughs> yeah, Gary. Um, the reason why it came in crooked is let's see if I can show you. Nope. All right, so I'll have to show it to you this way. Is he almost there? Nope. The reason why it did, ready for this, and I know you're gonna laugh at me because this was a macro, supposedly a macro shot. The image itself was crooked, all right? So notice the difference. I took the image, cropped it way, way, way in, and once I got there, 
I rotated it. And in doing that, and by doing all that rotation and stuff, when you bring in a texture, the in the orientation of the original image. All right. So, hello, Brian. It's good to see you. All right. So, you see what I just did there again? I brought it in, or I, I took the original image and I rotated it. So, when you bring in a texture, the texture is going to take on the original format or the original rotation. All right. So, now let me just hide this for a moment. All right, so that was easy. I mean, a PNG file, transparent background, piece of cake. It's when you have a JPEG with a solid background, that's when we have problems. So let me click on texture. And I'll load another texture. And here's one right here. We'll use the white one this time. So it has to be a solid background, white or black, if you're using a JPEG. And then my signature is a solid color, which is white. And I'll bring it in. <laughs> so, and then once again, I'm going to change the opacity just to make it large. And by the way, the other reason why I have to do so much scaling is because I crop the daylights out of that, that image. So another question somebody should be asking me is, Vanelli, if you were doing macro photography, why the heck were you zoomed out so far? So, and I thought for sure my buddy Jerry would ask that question. Um, I just got my hands on the Z62, and I wanted to try it out, and the lens that I had was a Tamron lens. Well, apparently it's not... Is supported only if you have the newest update to it. So the firmware update, which I didn't do. So I had to manually focus every single shot. That was not fun. Um, and so I originally started out really, really tight. And I couldn't get the image. So I did the best thing I could. And I stepped back, focused. Got my shot, and these are the images here. All right, good. So we have that here. Now, again, notice I had to rotate it because this original image is rotated. And let me hide me. All right, now here's the difference. Come over here to advance. Now we have to play with the blend modes. So the blend modes is going to take this and blend it into the background. So let's see which one. Lighten. And screen should be the two. Uh, chance our lighting is going to be the one. Overlay is not going to do it. So if we go with screen, we'll have this weird little box around it. But if we go with lighten, the box disappears. So I'm going to stick with lighten. And I'm just going to crank up brightness a lot. And I might as well crank up um, contrast. And there we have it. All right, awesome. So that's how we add a signature or a watermark to our image. Now keep in mind, I could copy this and make this into a template and add it to another image. But remember, if you rotate or crop, which was we just did, it's going to affect your watermark. Now, is this an ideal solution? By no means. All right, so I know that when the engineers saw us doing this, and you guys have been helping out tremendously by putting in feature requests on top of feature requests, saying that watermarks is one of your top priorities, the engineers are listening, and hopefully we'll have that in another edition. Um, I can't say for sure if it will or won't, but you guys helping out the way you do, and again, filling out the surveys, answering the questions that they have, helps us, brings all of us closer to the things that we need and want, all right? Well, that's how, again, we add the watermark. If you have a black background, change the layer blend mode. If it's a white, same thing with a white background, change the layer blend mode until it blends in with the image itself, all right? So let's check if there's any questions. 
Good. Yes, Russell, you won't forget. And by the way, Russell, your water drop photos are looking really good. Keep keep it up. Hello, everyone. Glad to see you. Bonjour. No, no I'm not saying bonjour. It's bonjour. in friends. There we have it. All right, guys. So, again, thank you so much for joining me. And I'll see you at the next coffee break.